what's up so today i'm going to be doing a video explaining basically everything baby born now i know most of you guys probably aren't gonna like need this video but if you're considering getting a baby born or you really just got one this can probably help you so let me get situated and i will start this video first i'll show you some first i'll tell you some things and then i'll kind of get into demonstrating them but I think I want a prettier background, so here we go. Right there, here we go. So, the first thing that I wanted to tell you is that she wears a size preemie diaper and preemies in clothes. Preemie diapers are going to look too big or too small, but they actually fit quite perfectly. Um, preemie clothes and carters are going to fit really good onesie-wise, but if you want to get sleepers, definitely go for Granimal's brand. Um, Gerber does, I don't even know if Gerber makes a preemie brand because I don't, um, or preemie size because I have never seen one myself. If you do, that would be the great a great option, but their newborn stuff runs very small, so if you want to look into um, Gerber, that is good. I don't know if I've been saying granules the whole time, but I meant Gerber. So, I will show you some examples. Only doll shirts or onesies that will fit a baby born is baby born brand. The only, and doll pants fit. They're very tight, but they do fit. Um, newborn Carter pants will fit a baby, or preemie, or newborn legging Carter pants. Like, legging Carters will fit if they're a newborn size, and... Um, regular pants and preemie will fit um, um, baby borns and then baby born onesies <coughs> obviously fit like that's what she has on now and then a sleeper and granimals preemie size will fit as well see if this is newborn and carters and this is baby born and then this is um I don't know some kind of doll clothing brand so diapers are a big thing even though she's potty trained obviously sometimes she has accidents because if you feed her too much she'll obviously pee that out so yeah um you're gonna want to have a lot a lot a lot of bibs because she spits up a lot um one way to manage that is if you use the bottle that comes with her and only fill it up about halfway and that will make sure she doesn't spit up but any other thing you use will make her spit up um it's never too too much if you do feed her with a different brand bottle than what she comes with or if you fill it up over halfway just before you shake her around too much just kind of like pat her on the back kind of burp her um so she cries a lot more than she pees which is really aggravating so for any youtubers out there that know how to edit um make her cry off camera like empty out all of her arms and stuff like that also if you blow in her eyes very very gently like you're trying to get something out a lot of the water will just come out if there's any excess that you feel won't come out blow in her eyes and it makes it it works very well um, something else I will tell you about her is that when she sits, it looks uneven. You just have to make sure that her leg pops in place because sometimes if it's just a little bit off, obviously she will not sit right and you're kind of confused. Just make sure you push her legs out of the way and then she will sit evenly. Um, she can fit in um, a newborn car, uh, in a regular car seat. I pref I would prefer to put her not in a regular car seat, just because she is still very small for that. Um, also, she can only take modified pacifiers. She can take all pacifiers, just they all have to be modified. So I'd be very careful about not modifying them too much, because obviously because her her lip is curved like this. Um, like how it's puckered out a little bit, kind of like the, a reborn, one of the reborns I've seen. Um, if you cut the nipple too, too far, obviously in that, in that lip will make it so she can't, um, take it. Um, 
I would also say don't do any like Tommy Teddy bottles or like latch bottles or even um, Playtex bottles. They are too big. The nipple is really wide. Um, and also do a very slow flow nipple like a Dr. Phil. Um, the Dr. Phil is sealed and if anyone is wondering why this bottle is sealed for my babies, for my baby born at least, is because I don't want her to cry. Like, I don't know what it would do to her system. I Her system is very, very, very delicate. I think that you should only do water for her and then sealed um, bottles like filled with juice or milk. If you want to do juice or you know a lot more than I do, um, you can do juice. Um, I'm just saying do it at your own risk. Um, obviously, socks and shoes are pretty much a no-go because her feet are so, so tiny. Um, also, I say have a designated bottle that is for water that has um, maybe like a slightly cut nipple. Like this one is just worn and so it's bigger. So, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to say that... Um, Make sure that her legs are all the way up and like as far back as they can go because sometimes that makes it so like some of the fluid can't come out of her when you push her belly button. So yeah. And this is a really great baby. She's just a little messy so if you're looking for a neater doll I would go with a baby alive. Obviously because they've been in, they've almost been making babies for like a hundred years now. So yeah. But thank you guys for watching this video. Comment down below anything you feel like I left out or anything like that. Thank you for all the people who commented um, for this video. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and remember, have an awesome day. Bye-bye.